Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that deals with functional equation. Here we have f of x defined as a to the power of x plus a to the power of negative x. a belongs to positive real numbers. We have f of 2 over 3 defined as 1 plus 2 radical 2 and we need to find f of 3 over 2. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. To solve this problem, I'm going to try to evaluate what I need to do. So f of 3 over 2 can be defined as a to the power of 3 over 2 plus a to the power of negative 3 over 2. And basically this is a to the power of 3 and then the second root of it plus the second root of a to the power of negative 3 and if we simplify things a little bit further we can write it as radical a plus radical a to the power of negative 1 to the power of 3 minus 3 times radical a plus radical a to the power of negative 1 if you have hard time to understand this just remember that we can write a plus b to the power of 3 as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus 3 times a b times a plus b and here b is inverse of a so because of that 3 times a b is going to be just 3 and the rest is easy now let's continue with what we have. So based on what we have right now, f of 3 over 2 depends on radical a plus radical a to the power of negative 1. So this is something that I need to find. Let's see how we are going to do that based on f of 2 over 3. f of 2 over 3 is defined as 1 plus 2 radical 2. f of 2 over 3 is a to the power of 2 over 3 plus a to the power of negative 2 over 3. And we can write it as the third root of a squared plus the third root of a to the power of negative 2. And basically we can write it as the third root of a plus the third root of a to the power of negative 1 to the power of 2 minus 2. The reason is kind of simple, but I'm going to write it in case you have hard time to understand it. a plus b to the power of 2 is going to be a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 plus 2 times a b and here b is 1 over a and basically 2 times a b is going to be just 2 and the rest is easy so back to where we are now we can say that this value here is going to be 1 plus 2 radical 2 which basically means that the third root of a plus the third root of a to the power of negative 1 is 1 plus 2 plus 2 radical 2 and we have this power of 2 here this value is going to be 3 plus 2 radical 2 which is 1 plus radical 2 to the power of 2 and remember a is a positive number so the third root of a plus the third root of a to the power of negative 1 is going to be 1 plus radical 2 this is something interesting while it's not exactly what we wanted to find this is similar remember we wanted to find radical a plus radical a to the power of negative one but we found the third root of a plus the third root of a to the power of negative one so from here we need to apply some more simplification so first of all i'm going to take power of three from both sides and if we do this we are going to end up with something that we can 
used. If we take power of 2 from both sides, we are going to end up with a plus a to the power of negative 1 plus 3 times the first term times the second term, which is going to be 1 times the third root of a plus the third root of a to the power of negative 1 defined as power of 3 of 1 plus radical 2, which is going to be 1 plus 2 radical 2 plus 3 radical 2 plus 6 and this value is going to be 7 plus 5 radical 2 so here we have a plus a to the power of negative 1 plus 3 times the third root of a plus the third root of a to the power of negative 1 given as 7 plus 5 radical 2. We already know that what we have for the third root of a plus the third root of a to the power of negative 1. That's given as 1 plus radical 2. So we can say that a plus a to the power of negative 1 is 7 plus 5 radical 2 minus 3 times 1 plus radical 2 which is going to be 4 plus 2 radical 2. Now we have a plus a to the power of negative 1 defined as 4 plus 2 radical 2. What we are going to do with it? Remember again, f of 3 over 2 is defined as a to the power of 3 over 2 plus a to the power of negative 3 over 2. And let's assume that this is a. Then we can say that a squared is going to be a to the power of 3 plus a to the power of negative 3 plus 2 times the first term times the second term which is going to be 2. This value is going to be a squared. And now we need to have this a to the power of 3 plus a to the power of negative 3 which can be written as a plus a to the power of negative 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 times a plus a to the power of negative 3 plus 2 is going to be a squared and we found what we have for a plus a to the power of negative 1 as 4 plus 2 radical 2 so I'm going to replace things as 4 plus 2 radical 2 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 4 plus 2 radical 2 is going to be a squared minus 2 and now if you just simplify things you are going to see that a is going to be radical 150 minus 106 radical 2 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more math puzzles and problems from different competitions, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.